Okay, now I'm gonna do uh, the guard pull and then I'm gonna show you guys when I'm on the ground, how do I like to start getting into my De La Riva X, okay? So I'm just gonna use one of the options here. Let's see, I'm open the gi and make the grip, the grip on the collar. So now he's grabbing my collar as well. I'm gonna go four fingers inside here. I don't like this grip here, some people do. I don't like the pistol grip here, some people do. I prefer four fingers inside. I feel like I'm stronger on my grip with that. So now I'm gonna break the grip and make some movement. So now I'm gonna pull guard. Same foot um, I have on his collar, I'm gonna place on his hip. So I go here, place that foot on his hip. I'm gonna lean towards my right hip when I sit down. Good. Now I'm gonna have, I can have my De La Riva here on the left side, okay? So now here, if I have the collar sleeve, a lot of times we'll change here the grips that I'm gonna have when I'm playing De La Riva, De La Riva X. So I can have collar and pants, I can have collar and sleeve, sometimes I'm gonna have sleeve and pants. It will go depending on which attacks and I'm doing it. So I'm just pretty much here, I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna get to my um, De La Riva X here. So I have my De La Riva, let's say I'm controlling his sleeve and his pants in here, and my partner have his leg strong here, I'm not be able to push his leg away or anything like that. I'm gonna use my foot on his tie here, just as a post so I can lift my hips. So now I wanna go on my left shoulder. So I go here, I go on my left shoulder. Now this leg that was on the De La Riva is gonna go all the way up to, his hip, to the hip and I release that foot on his tie. Now you see my hook is all the way up on his belt, on his hip. Now this leg is gonna make my X. So now I have my De La Riva X in here. Very important in this position is not to leave my foot just there like relaxing. It's easier for him to clear that position. So when I have my De La Riva X, I'm flexing my foot on my partner's hip and also flexing my foot behind the other knee and I'm pinching my knees together. I'm not leaving my knees open here. It makes it easier for him to push my legs down every time my knees are open, right? So I need to, even if I have the collar here or if I have the other sleeve, it doesn't matter which grips I'm having here, I want flex my foot on his legs and then pinch my knees together. So now I can start controlling his posture, bring back and forth and start working towards my sweep. Um, that's one option I would like to get to the De La Riva X. So the other one here will be uh, to go the other side. Let's, <clears throat> it will be me walking my elbow towards my partner's back. So I'm here. Let's see. I don't want to like go on my shoulder, lift my shoulders and get to that position. I want something different. I'm just going to get my elbow here on the mat. I'm going to start walking my elbow all as much as I can towards my partner's back. And I'm just going to stretch this leg here. And I'll get my De La Riva. Full De La Riva. And then I'll make the X. Turn around. Turn, 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 turn. You guys see, I have that full de la Riva in there. Hook on his hip, hook behind the knee. So again, walk my elbow towards his back, stretch this leg, hook behind the knee. Now I can start off balancing. I can start working to achieve my sweeps and all that stuff. So there's gonna be the two ways I would like to get to my de la Riva after a guard pull. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how do I will get there straight from the guard pole without stopping or having to adjust grips or anything like that.